after this, you'd have to get like your whole body squeezed in there. And that's just not, <laughs> not something I'm comfortable doing. But already it's just like being in a cave is a bit of a fear of mine anyway. So. so we can take it outside. Another beautiful morning. We are heading off. Vernon Lake was awesome. We are heading off to uh, towards Gold River today. What a sweet stop for a day. We left Vernon Lake and we're driving towards Gold River. Looks like Strathcona Parks to our to our left and side there, and the road is nice. It's a nice loop to do. Um, if you're in like you know Port Hardy coming back past Port McNeil through Wass and then through back to Gold River it's a super nice drive so um, roads pretty chill any you know normal SUV or a bit more clearance two-wheel drive can do it at least in the summertime so super glad we went this way and the two lakes we stopped at so far were great we'll check out Mushalot Lake it's pretty early in the morning so I doubt we're gonna go for a swim or hang out for long or anything and then uh, stock up on groceries and, 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 and do some caving. Here's the Mushalot Lake Rec site we're just stopping by. Tons of sites available but we're not staying. Pretty nice. Lots of people with speed boats and stuff out here. Um, water looks super calm. Super fun to, to probably go for a paddle or rip around on. We are here at the Upana Caves Interpretive Forest site. Um, there's a bunch of different caves. The Insect Cave, Main Cave, Slither Cave, Resurgence Cave. Um, you can go really deep into them apparently uh, that scares the crap out of uh, me I hate small spaces, so we're gonna check them out because they're probably pretty cool But we're not gonna go deep into them like they say all like some of the caves are interconnected So you can like climb around into different caves and stuff, but like I hate cold dark spaces So we'll check them out and uh, we probably won't go too deep into it. We were looking for vegetables We didn't eat any vegetables in like seven days since since before the Cape Scott Trail and we found no vegetables in Wass. We forgot to buy stuff in Port McNeil. So we go into Gold River, the grocery store is closed, but there's this little deli that had some veggies and uh, some meat and stuff. So we're having some uh, chicken bagels with spinach and mustard for lunch, which is gonna be a wildly nice change um, from what we've been eating the last couple days. Yeah, we'll head into the caves after we eat them. I don't know if I'm excited, a bit scared. So we talked to a guy in the parking lot. He said they're pretty cool and there's a, a waterfall or something through one of them. So we're gonna go through the main cave, check out the insect cave, <laughs> and uh, see how this goes. Ugh. So here we are at the insect cave. It says, um, shows you slope, drop, pool, suggested route. You are here. So we're gonna follow in through here and back out through the entrance. Um, not that excited. That's what the entrance looks like. It looks kind of freaking small. Um, this is definitely kind of freaky. I don't know how well this is all going to film. I've never done anything like this. Holy, it gets cold. What the f We're inside the first cave. Oh, this lower shorts got mud on them. She wore nice jean shorts caving. <laughs> she wore sweat shorts caving. I wore a bathing suit. This is super creepy, like, looks like there's footsteps all the way through in here. I don't know if people can fit through shit like that, crazy spelunker people. But this is, uh, yeah, this is a little freaky. Um, the light's right there, so that's all good. That's as far as we're gonna go, I don't know, maybe you can go down there, but, uh, I'm not trying. So here you can see the, the exit to the cave, it's actually kind of a, it's a bit of a steep climb, actually. And then, uh, over here, here, my headlamp's on right now. You can see how dark it gets. Like, you can't see a thing. Flipping, flipping freaky. I don't know why people do the spelunking. They're crazy. Not my cup of tea. There's a little waterfall in here, and then it looks like there's a cave down there. There are some people in the main cave, so we'll, we'll check it out after. So this is the corner slither cave. Suggested for the more adventurous. Let's see how far we make it. We go kind of in the entrance and around a corner down past a pool or something and back. What the, what have we gotten ourselves into? 
God, it gets so dark and scary. A flashlight might have been easier. This is so creepy. What the? <laughs> How you feeling, Laura? Oh, the water drop just hit me. Ugh. I don't like this one bit. This is insanity. What in the world? It. You can see your breath in here. It's gone down to like maybe five degrees, five degrees or something. Holy, that's cool, kind of. Oh what is in that cavern there? This is the corner slither cave, and it is creeping me right out. We haven't had to duck too low. We, oh my gosh. No, really? I'm not doing it. How is this a BC Parks thing? Oh, it's slippery. Yeah, no. Are you gonna go in there? I'm gonna see what it looks like. Come with me, come on. It's not, it's not too small. Look at these. What the heck? These are some serious caves. Okay, just, just to give you an idea how dark this is, Laura just shut her light off. There's Laura standing right there. How you feeling, Laura? Okay. Now watch this. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's like All you hear is the ah. Oh! Babe. <laughs> Babe. <laughs> All you hear is the drippings. Oh, we are not. We're swamp people. We're not cave people. I like the mud. Oh, they said you couldn't get through. What? No, you couldn't. You can get through just on your tummy. So here's this is the kind of cool little part where you get kind of low and sideways. What the? And you kind of go down like this. So Laura's coming behind me. I don't know how well I'll be able to film this. Hey baby, watch your head. Huh? Thanks. You could probably actually stand right here. And then where do, you, where do you go after this? Pardon? Where do you go after this? Um, down. Not very steep. They said it opens up, so. This is further than I got last time. Are you with me? Oh no, that looks traumatizing. They said the rocks were cool, like... I don't know, I'm not getting on my stomach, that's for sure. Holy, that's where they stopped. No way people go in there. Look at this. You can come down here no problem, Laura. These rocks are like, we are just stuffed in here. Like, So the next part of this cave, you crawl on your stomach? I, like, what? I can see from here. Like, look how small that is. I'm not going in, no way. But here's my hand, right? So as people go in their tummies, ouch. And they go right in there. And that's where you can go. That's just mental. Just to give you an idea, we're at the bottom of the corner cave and people climb on their stomachs like Splunkers, you know, this is on the BC Trail saying this is a cave you can go down. And this is like, like after this, I can lay here kind of with my body. After this, you'd have to get like your whole body squeezed in there and that's just not, <laughs> not something I'm comfortable doing. But already, it's just like being in a cave is a bit of a fear of mine anyway, so. Okay, let's try not to bonk our heads. There it goes, Laura. Up through the caves. If my headlamp died, I would be very afraid. That's what I say to take two legs on. See, they went like this. You can, I could stand. Oh, you can stand. I don't know if you can fit. You might have bigger. Yeah, I'm pretty skinny. I got a big stomach. No, you can fit. Okay, nice. Yeah, there. Into the main cave. I'll let a nice little bright hole. That's more my style. Where's, where's in? I think this isn't the right way, is it? There's almost some like stairs. I think they said 
Really? Yeah. Got some stairs. We still got natural light. I like that. And here we go. Some old ladies did it before us, so good on them. They're giving me the confidence. Oh my gosh. That's pretty low. Oh, this is low. What? Yeah. All the condensation. This is, oh my God. Okay, you can stand up over here. Look at Laura there. Holy cow. There she comes. Look how low she is. She's ducked right down. There's like a little cave in there. Um, no, thank you. We're just going to walk a straight line. That one's a little bit lower. Wow. So we're standing up again. Nice. That's really nice. Yeah. Which road is which here? Here comes Laura. Popping out of the cave. There's a lot of little ways and directions to go. There she is. The ceiling, that's super high. There's a bunch of little caves up in the ceilings and the sides. Wow. This is something else. Absolute darkness in here. What? Oh, mud. Okay. <laughs> Scared me. Just mud. Shout out. Shout out to Aritzia for making the best caving shorts on the market. I can't wait to see. These rocks are just hanging everywhere. At least we haven't seen any bats. Okay. We are done with this one. We've got one more cave to check out. Yeah. Once you exit, the temperature goes from like six degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius. Holy cow. To the waterfall, I believe. That is a big cave, that one. See, so out of the main cave, it, uh, it connects to this waterfall, which is super cool, super beauty. Wow. We're at now the fourth cave. The sun's kind of blocking the view here. It's called the Resurgence Cave. We walked down some stairs and uh, now we're at the, the entrance for the Resurgence Cave. There's a river running through here so we might actually be able to see fish in the river in the cave, which would be super cool. Um, this, this entrance is so cool, it's massive. Absolutely massive. Now we're going in that way. Um, there's some crazy little holes and nooks and it looks like people climb into a bunch of weird things here, which is just wild. Wow, this big cave itself is so cool. All right, goodbye. Goodbye, light. Hello, complete darkness. We are getting back in the mix. And there is a river in here this time. Maybe we're gonna have to get our feet wet, Laura. This white rock is super cool. The white rock is really neat. Here comes Laura. It's still a bit light over there. Might, might be getting my runners wet. That's okay, it's worth it. Whoa. So here's the river. And we're in this dark cave and it's, the river runs right through it. There we go, it's getting darker and darker. He said watch for fish in the river, I don't really see any. Holy crap. And it's all water. Yeah. Okay, this is pretty cool. We are in, are you gonna come? Your feet will have to get totally wet. You're going to stay back? Yeah. Okay, Laura's going to stay back. How far do you need to go? I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to have to get soaked though. I don't really like the whole water thing either. 
but my feet are wet, so my feet are soaking wet. We're in a river. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. There's a, there's a fish in here too. A little tad, a little tad, full trout. Oh, wow. So I'm ankle deep in the water. And we're inside a cave. And I don't know how much further this goes. But uh, this roof, there's these weird, it's white rock. That's so cool. Limestone. I am knee deep in the water right now. Washing all the dirt off me. Oh my god. It's like I'm swimming in here. Trying to look around the corner. This is so whack. It's only getting deeper in here. Okay, I'm going to go. What? I'm knee deep. Yeah, I think I'm going to call it here. I'm not going to be able to look around the corner, but that's okay. Coming back out, there's Laura over there. Oh, oh. Yeah, the, the limestone on the roof is super cool. I don't know how much the camera's picking up. I am soaked in water. I don't think I want to go any further. I could have taken my shoes off, she's right. That was dumb, because I don't even have a pair of hiking boots, so. My feet are gonna be really wet tomorrow. It's hot day. Let's see if we can find any fish. I ain't gonna go any further down there. Yeah, I think you made the right call there, Laura. I didn't really see too much more. Good God, that's crazy. All right, let's get on out of here. You know, I was walking the water, may as well. This water is really warm. Yeah. The limestone's all in the, on the ground here too, which is so cool. You can see in the water. Oh yeah, there we go. See him. Walking right through the river here. Neat. Bye bye. That's not a great feeling being in there with the uh, water. So that sums up our uh, our caving adventure. Um, what are, what are you, how are you feeling? Good. It wasn't too bad. Uh, yeah. I, it was really cool. I think it was worth checking out. Definitely I'm worth checking out if you're there. nearby. I don't think I'm gonna get into caving. But it was definitely, it was definitely fun to do it and fun to go in there. And the rocks are super cool how it forms. There's just a certain level of uneasiness I had the entire time, but we didn't do anything unsafe at all. We're gonna, it's back at 30 degrees out here. We're gonna go find a lake, find somewhere to swim, yeah. and uh, not go into any dark places other than in the back of the truck for the next couple weeks. <laughs> Just breathe, breathe, breathe.